I'm Alicia Paul Moses and I play Tina. I'm Caleb Roberts and I play Ike. I am Aisha Joando and I play Tina. We all, well, I started different. It's, yeah. You, you sort of started together. I started four years ago and I broke my foot. So that was no. fun. <laughs> yeah, four days into my house, I broke my Whoa. foot. Yeah, that was fun. Very surreal. Not been in that environment ever before. So for me, um, very, very different. I'm slightly overwhelmed as well. Um, the fact that that I'm, I'm going to be playing Tina in the West End. And, you know, for me, it was, even now, still, it's still feels like a dream. It doesn't feel like it's real, but um, yeah, I'm just going with it, riding with it, and it's, it's pretty good. But yeah, the first day was, was uh, yeah, it was, a, I will remember that today. <laughs> yeah. I feel like first days in general are just, you revert back into a 16 year old, I revert back into a 16 year old boy, just nervous and nervous to talk to people. And I had one of my friends, who I grew up with is in the show. She's an assistant dance captain Saran, so I kind of just like stuck onto her. Uh, and then slowly, slowly you, you get comfortable and start, start, you know, interacting. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I was a nervous wreck. I originated the role of Arlene. So that was my role. And because it was, because the show premiered here, there was no substance to any other characters. No one knew what any character was or who they were yeah, there was nothing to nice. yeah there was nothing to pull on okay. so and that's not a very typical thing usually things come from broadway and you have the soundtrack and you have so and so and you kind of play things like that but so yeah so it was all from scratch ike is such a complicated man and and before tina when he is with tina after he, he tina leaves him he he lives kind of like four lives in one and I didn't really know much about him and I didn't really know much about their story. And then, then you research. And then when I was starting to audition, I looked at YouTube videos, I got his book, I read his book and his life is insane. So I, as an actor, that's kind of what you, what you want. You, you want to play these complicated people who have loads of things going on and, and try to understand why they do what they do. And uh, it's very easy for anyone to look his life and his story and how he is portrayed in many different versions uh, as a villain. It's my responsibility to make him human and to try and understand why he is the way, way that he is. It's funny because when I actually had the, the audition to do it, 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 it wasn't for Tina, it was actually for Eileen. Yeah. So when I yeah. So when, <laughs> when I went in, in yeah. <laughs> so it's your similar situation. Like I went in for the audition and they asked me to sing a few Tina songs. And then from that moment after I did that, then they brought me back in and auditioned for Tina. It's a big role, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's um, really rewarding. The story is, is is fantastic, and just being amongst amazing people is every day. I guess we have a very different experience to you because you know her. What is that like when you know someone? I, I've described it like this before. She's like your favourite aunt and you have chosen me, which means you have given me permission to portray your life in a way that either one, resonates with me or two, something that I can emulate because I can understand or empathize with part of your story and i think because of that now then playing a real life person who is still with us isn't too daunting because i know that she's allowed for me to have freedom in that story her story hasn't changed there's no artistic license in the sense that we've you know, embellished a story or taken a story away or, or not really told her truth. The, the truth is always there. I put so much pressure on myself and I'm sure you probably have done in the past where you're like, I have to be so accurate. I have to get everything right because I'm, I'm telling this person's story. So if you get the essence of who they are and why they are, I guess that, that might be in the right direction. Ashley, who played Ike, he was a couple of years above me at Guildhall. So I, as soon as I got the job, I just called him. I was like, what do I need to know? So he just gave me like a little, not, not about the part, but just about 
the building and uh, being Ike. He gave me a few tips, so it was really useful. It's like an extended family. When I'm not here, I miss, I miss them. I miss being around. It was so intense doing um, rehearsals and then even in and then throughout the whole thing. It becomes like your bubble, so everything outside of it, it just seems like you kind of pierce back in and then you're in it and it's like, yay. It's just really lovely to like, to be a part of, of this because you know, my background is singing and it wasn't acting and I recently went into acting. It means a lot to, to have been picked for this role because I'm, I'm kind of self-grown. Well, I am self-grown, so yeah, it means a lot, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> The show, what does the show mean to me? I love telling stories and I get to do that. And I don't have to have, yes, being in the show has gained some sort of following, but I feel like I, I, I didn't need that to tell a story. The fact that someone said, oh, I think you'll be cool at telling some part of the story. I said, oh, I'm on board. Let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty and see what happens and see what, transforms from it so I think that's amazing and also the fact that I get to portray one of the most iconic black women in history is something that I will never take lightly because even though yes she goes through struggle which it'd be lovely to tell us a, a black story that hasn't gone through struggle but unfortunately that is at the minute where we're we're pulling away from and saying we can be black people and have fun or we can be black people and love sci-fi we can be black people and just want to frolic in the field i still will never take it lightly that i don't know if i will ever get a chance like this in the west end to portray someone as iconic as her not because of her music but because of her as a human being this story with this group of people and this space looking out to the people that we see is just something you can't take for granted because it's so rare just being amongst such a variety of different people who come from such a different place and telling a, a black story that's a, a beautiful one yeah. uh, with a lot of heart is a privilege to be able to do every night